Hey, Tiger Cats fans, your digital host, Louis B, checking in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. Uh, we're continuing our series with your favorite athlete. And of course, we know Tiger Cats fans, uh, your favorite athletes are most likely Tiger Cats. Uh, we want to know who their favorite athletes are. And today, very pleased to be joined by Larry Dean. Uh, Larry, great to see you, buddy. How are you? I'm good, man. How y'all doing? I'm doing well. Looks like a uh, beautiful day down there in uh, in Georgia. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> usually, usually is down there. It's a little cold up here in uh, in Canada right now. But uh, we're talking about your favorite athletes, and I want to talk to you about your all time favorite athlete. Uh, who is your all time favorite athlete? All time favorite, Muhammad Ali. What he stood for, his bravado, uh, being able to walk the walk in, talk the talk, and back it up. And it don't get no better than that. But then also just what he stood for from from a culture standpoint and what everything he was going against. Anybody who go up against the government has to be a bad man. I mean, obviously, you, you, you probably didn't get to see Muhammad Ali fight. So where, how did you get interested? How did you kind of pay attention? I hang around my dad a lot and just older people. You know, that's, I've always been able to uh, live and learn vicariously, you know, through others. And, you know, you, you want to be a great, so you want to study the greats and, you know, when you speak about the goats and things like that, people throw their word around loosely, but when you really dive into the definition of it and understand he's at the top of everyone's list. So it's like, what's making this guy, you know, what's making his name pop up every time? And then you go and you study and you, you study the history and you do your research and you really understand like, okay, this is why he's separated himself. Uh, there was one athlete in, uh, in, in Atlanta, Georgia, who was kind of, Ripping up the football field that uh, that that you kind of admired growing up. Who was that? Oh yeah, Mike Vick. He 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 had the city. He set the he set the city on fire. You know, uh, just the football world. Period. And uh, I grew up in Tipton, Georgia, but I also had a stint where I stayed in Virginia. I stayed in Norfolk before, so you know, of course, the to be uh, a Michael Vick fan wasn't wasn't unfamiliar territory. You know, so definitely. Yeah. And you you wore the seven. You had the hair. You 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 wanted to be a quarterback. Like you were you were all in, eh? Yeah. Well, we had too many similarities. I I had the braids. I'm left-handed. I wore the number seven. My posse, my daddy went and got me the shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the the Mike Vick experience with the the commercial and all that. It had the jersey, everything. You know, and at the time, you know, signing a hundred million dollar contract. I don't sound too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound too bad at all. Uh, Champ, it's great to see you back with the uh, with the Thai Cats. Uh, whenever we get to be back on the field, it's great to see you here today. Uh, thanks so much for doing this. Great to see you. No, thanks for having me, man. Everyone stay safe, man. It's possible. 